Hi folks, Lobuck 1010 here. I've got this John Deere 2010 1963 model disassembled to the point where we can go ahead and remove the cylinder head and the rocker arm assembly and see what the cylinders look like. I've already removed the gas tank, carburetor, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, valve cover gasket, and I'm just about ready to uh, pull the rocker arm assembly off and then uh, go ahead and pull the push rods out and take the head bolts out and then go ahead and take the head off and see what it looks like. So, <clears throat> here we go. Shrouds. on these is 150 foot pounds so it takes a little bit of muscle to get them off or at least you get them broke loose
got the head bolts out. <clears throat> Let's see if I can't break it loose. Carbon buildup. What do the cylinders look like? That's what I really want to know. Oh, yeah. A little bit of rust here in the number one cylinder right here. So my guess would be water got in there and probably rusted the rings. That's why I had low compression, 60 to 75 pounds. But the good news is it really doesn't look that bad. Not as bad as the uh, 65 1010 I took apart. I think these will hone up rather nicely. And I should be able to put a set of rings in there and get this thing back together. Anyway, there you have it short video on pulling the cylinder head. I hope you enjoyed this. Low Buck 1010 signing off.